Yeah. <laughs> uh, something smooth yet sinister. Coming through to diminish you. And this here's the finisher. <laughs> Check it out. Uh. What's going on, guys? Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And I'm sure you know by now, but we got a new quest area in a recent uh, server update that we had to the game, alright? The new region in quest mode is known as Rack Shult. Alright, so, new quest area, more gems for my free to play players out there, and uh, more things to conquer for my vets. So, what we're going to be getting into today is the boss of this region, guys. The mission is called Master of Creation, 12 battles, 25 energy. Unbeknownst to anyone, Mordlem had continued with her sinister plans. If you don't stop her now, the future of humankind could be lost forever. Alright, so... Quest boss, um, it's not too difficult. Only thing I definitely recommend, guys, um, my quest squad, as you can see here, um, I switched up my quest squad. If you've been paying attention to it, to my vids recently, um, I switched my quest squad up. So here's who I've been using now. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with here. But uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend you don't bring any thunder units along. Now my quest squad doesn't have any thunder units anyway. But if your questing squad does, I highly recommend you don't bring them. Um, because the boss is Earth Element and she hits Thunder Element units pretty freaking hard. Alright, so uh, you may want to avoid that. Um, avoid bringing Thunder friends as well. Okay, um, I'll be bringing my friends Avant here, and uh, we'll pretty sure we'll easily get the the task accomplished here with this squad now um, it is definitely possible to auto battle this okay guys nothing too difficult really about it um, and also as of the recording of this video guys we got two times experience going on in quest mode right now I think all of quest mode too, every single region so uh, this boss battle that I'm about to show you is what you want to be doing right now um, it's actually the most experienced um, out of all the quest bosses right now. All right, it was Lim for a while. Then when we got the Wolgi region, Wolgi, Wolgi, whatever you want to call it. Then you had the uh, the K Lord as the new boss, and you battled against him, and you got a whopping uh, 20 points extra with the two times experience uh, going on. All right. And it looks like they didn't too much deviate from that path when it came to the new region of Reichshold as well, alright? Because this region offers a whopping 20 more experience points than the previous region of Wolgi or Wolgi, whatever you want to call it. So, um, if you are farming for levels right now, uh, this is where you want to be, alright? And even after this double experience event is over, this is still going to be the highest quest uh, mission. But uh, it may not be the best, all right. But for now, it is. We got two times experience going on, excellent stuff, guys. So make sure you get in there and get it done, okay? Now, um, story wise, in this region, I think quite a bit was revealed, um, with the storyline, especially with that, uh, shoot, I forget the dude's name, Murpha, Murph, yeah, I can't remember that fool's name. But uh, he's the one whom you can capture uh, in the next quest region. Um, I think his name is Murpha. But uh, he, you can capture him like you did uh, Zebra and Mare back in the day. You can actually capture him. And it's a 7 star unit. So uh, pretty cool stuff guys. All right. But uh, a lot was revealed about him. You learned a lot about Carl. Um, you even learned a lot about a, uh, Magina too. And uh, his his roots and some one of his quote unquote friends he knew from way back. So story wise, um, pretty decent. All right, you get to travel along with Gron Owens pretty much the whole time through this region. So uh, you know my boy Owen, just as confident as ever, man. I freaking love that guy though. He cracks me up. How he's just always ready for battle. He always just wants to battle, and I love it. So uh. Owen grind for the win on this one. All right, uh, made a few adjustments to my quest squad. The main thing I did 
Um, I took out Ciara and put in Libera. Right? Main reason I did that. Um, I needed a unit that gives BB gauge on attack. All right. Um, as far as seven stars, there aren't too many good choices for that. All right. Libera, I think, is a good choice. Bestie is definitely a good choice. And uh, outside of that, as far as good choices, in my opinion, um, hmm, does Medina do that? I, I honestly don't remember whether or not Medina gives BB gauge on attack. It's Medina Medina. Let me think about it. I'm pretty sure I can bring to mind whether or not she does. Um, if Medina does, I, I don't think she's a bad choice. Let me see here, though. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, Medina does. Medina does. Three to six on, on win attack. All right. So, uh, Medina's not a bad choice either. All right. Um... Pretty much any other seven star unit in my opinion that increases BB gauge on attack isn't that great anymore. None that I can think of anyway. So uh yeah. But I definitely needed that on my questing squad, alright? Um, especially for this boss battle. If I if I didn't have it on this boss battle, um I probably wouldn't be able to auto battle it. Probably. Alright? And then um I used to have Gazia lead. Um, I took Gazia lead out and put in Hale or Haley, the, the new global exclusive seven-star unit. Um, the reason I took out Gazia, um, his BC cost, man, his, his freaking BC cost, even with the Heresy Orb equipped, is just man, he falls short. He just falls short. So um, I kicked him out, put in Krantz, all right, for my mitigation, and then uh, I made Hale the lead, uh, mainly because I really like. Oh uh, hell, alright. Her leader skill and her BB slash SBB is pretty much catered to keeping the BB gauge up. Alright, um her leader skill, huge boost in the BB gauge fill rate, and that's by 50%. And hugely boost BB gauge after wait a minute, hold up. That's freaking not her. That's uh Daggone Medina. Let me switch this back. Thinking about the wrong unit now that I was thinking about that girl. Um, Alright, so Hail, 30% boost to all parameters, greatly boosts BBH fill rate, which is still by 50%, greatly boosts BC and AC drop rate, which is by 25%, and boosts BB attack, which is by 150%. So she really caters to the BB gauge, and I like that in my quest squad. Alright, that's actually good for pretty much anything, guys. Anything you do in this game, all right, you could definitely do better with a better BB gauge fill rate and a boost to BC AC drop rate. It just it just does, all right. So, uh, good stuff, really good stuff in my opinion. All right, um, her BB also gives you BB gauge over three turns, boost the BB gauge fill rate by 50 percent. All right, the SBB. Still boost the BB gauge for three turns. That's about eight BCs, which I think is the best in the game right now. Um, boost the BB attack and got that attack and defense reduction uh, for one turn. So uh, she's really good. All right. So I decided to put her in, kick out Gazia, kick out Ciara, and uh, pretty much this is my new quest squad. All right. It's not the best. But uh, it works for me. It gets the job done. Okay. So I'm uh, really liking this new quest squad. Um, so just don't bring any thunder units here. You'll blow through this, guys. All right. Um, the boss isn't too difficult. All right. Um, as usual, when you complete the boss battle, you get a gem. All right, and then you also unlock the bonus dungeon, which I will be bringing a video of that for you guys in case you haven't finished it, or you may be struggling with it or anything like that. All right, um, this boss is not difficult. It does have considerably more HP than the previous bosses, though. All right, um, pretty much every boss prior to this one, my quest squad was pretty much able to OTK. Now, granted. Uh, this squad may or may not be a little bit weaker uh, due to not having Gazia. All right, Gazia is a freaking beast. Like 
his attack to defense, defense to attack conversions, and his high um, damage modifiers on his BBs and SBBs is ridiculous. So he's a super damage dealing unit, but um, I still that squad still wasn't OTK in this boss. All right, so here's the boss, guys, the big ugly nature demon, Mordlum. All right, so Earth element. Um, nothing really special about this unit, honestly. Um, Mordlum does have a attack, the empty seal attack that you see units, uh, bosses like Shushui use. Um, it's somewhat powerful. All right, nothing you really need to concern yourself about as long as you got some mitigation up. Which with my boy Krantz, um, I'm not too concerned about. Okay, um, he gets a pretty considerable amount of BB gauge back, pretty much all the time. Which is really what I really like about him. But uh, my auto battle squad has yet to fail. Okay, so uh, hopefully they're not gonna fail me this time either. Let's see what happens though. <laughs> you never know, man. You never really know. So we're all full again, so we're gonna slam her again with all the SBBs. Good stuff, baby. So if you had your auto battle, I personally keep my auto battle squad set to only use SBBs, alright? You can have them set to use um, BBs as well in the event that we don't have enough gauge to use SBB. Um, that'll probably make this even easier for you to complete. But me personally, I'm all about the SBBs, that's what I like to use. So, uh, yeah. Gonna get down on her. So far, so good. But other than Empty Seal, guys, there's really nothing else you need to watch out for when it comes to this boss. She's not strong. She's not difficult. No tricks to her. Just out of battle the heck out of her. Now, if you had a Thunder Element unit with you, um, they would probably be dead by now, honestly. They would probably be dead. So I want to watch out for that. And that's the end of her career. So Nature Demon Morlem. See ya. Nothing to it. Alright. So there you have it. New Questing Squad for the win. Getting work done, bruh. So four thunder units and you can auto battle it with pretty much anything. Alright guys, I don't know what the heck happened there but my video kind of stopped itself. But that's okay. Victory baby. Victory. Alright, so they got it done guys. So the bonus dungeon area unlocks when you complete that. It's called the sealed empty garden here guys. I haven't done it yet. So uh, that'll be the next video for you guys though, so stay tuned for that, show you how to knock out that bonus dungeon. Um, I'm pretty sure the rewards as usual will be one gem, one sphere frog, which you most definitely could use regardless guys, alright? So uh, that's going to wrap up this video featuring the new quest boss of the Rack Short region guys, hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description, otherwise I thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And of course, I'll be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier Global soon. Later, guys.